Wow, check this out. So this is actually uh, like kind of a dryish riverbed on this hiking trail I do a lot, but we've had a ton of rain the past couple days. And I wanted to just honestly come and be near the running water because it's just, I mean, listen to this, incredible. But I also brought my uh, MV88. I'm not sure if you've seen this microphone before, but it's pretty simple. Just take your phone, whatever it might be, plug this in as such boom and now you got a really good field recorder and it works pretty good i think i saw sakamoto use this in his uh coda documentary which is really good if you haven't seen that yet good holiday no it's not really a holiday movie at all but something to watch during the holidays but um yeah i just wanted to come here see what sounds i could find a lot of nature kind of starts to sound the same when you've sampled it so many times maybe you got some tips and tricks on textures or sounds that you look for when you're out sampling nature but running water rocks on other rocks and things into the water like this all good by me so let's go see what we can find so i got this app up here i really just wanted to get some sounds of rocks falling in the water into running water so i'm gonna go ahead and hit record how about this big boy not bad feels good to be a kid again so I just found this little waterlogged stick here asking to be found. I think this will make a good sound effect, right? Oh yeah, that's solid. You probably can't hear it now because the water is just so loud. That'll be cool. I can use this for a couple samples. This is just white noise at this point. I guess this whole me finding sounds thing is kind of like a... Uh, a side quest to what I really wanted to talk about. And I don't know if this is like a, a confession, but I know someone out there might need to hear it because I know I had to hear it at one point. And it's that I don't make music all the time. I understand that me putting out videos every week, making music and stuff, might have the impression that I make music all the damn time, but I don't. Sometimes I go weeks, maybe even a month without making music outside of those weekly videos. And I think it's important to recognize that and know that it's okay to, to, uh, to not make music because I'm, I know I put my Instagram at the end of the videos and I mention it, but I don't even have it on my phone. So for those who reach out to me on there, I barely check it to be honest and I just use it almost like an email. I just check it on the computer because I know in hindsight now, or in retrospect, looking back, thinking that I was using Instagram or social media as a way for me to get inspired to make music, in a way it was kind of putting me down and making me almost uninspired because I would see people doing amazingly awesome, cool things, and then I would go turn on my studio and just make straight doo-doo for 30 minutes, give up, and then think I sucked. It's the beginner's mind to know, hey, there's always something new to learn. Of, I, and this just went from zero to 100 in a second, my bad. But this is kind of why I wanted to come out here and just kind of have a quick little chat, and basically say like, you know, it's okay, it's okay. Don't feel guilty if you're not making music all the time. I hope that these videos and these hangouts inspire you to do something cool and to do something awesome but I really hope that they don't make you think that you are not good enough because nobody is and by that logic we all are good enough right we're all equal we're all in the same playing field sure there are geniuses out there but it didn't happen overnight and it just it just takes some time so I know when I used to make music and I would see people doing dope stuff I would always wonder and ask, like, how in the hell did they do that back in the 80s or the 90s? And now it's 2021. I got a room full of gear and I can't make crap. It's because I'm not putting in the time and the effort to really learn and sculpt my craft. So by eliminating a lot of social media, for me, it's helped me by just making music for fun and making music for myself rather than an algorithm or rather than making music for 
someone else to enjoy versus myself. Let me get this jam just good enough so that I can post it on Instagram to show people that I'm jamming. Don't, don't even bother. Just jam for yourself, please. Sometimes I'll go on long, long dry spells of no music making and it's okay. It's totally okay because I know when I come back, I'm gonna put in the time and the effort and the work if I make the choice to and the music I make then will be fun and inspiring and uh, make me proud. So yeah, as long as you're making yourself proud, you make me proud kiddo, AKA dad. Are you winning son? <laughs> I don't know where this is going anymore, but I appreciate you a lot. Thank you so much for everything. And seriously, yeah, you're amazing. And send, link your music down below, please. I wanna hear it. Um, but yeah, let's go find some more sounds and find this waterfall before I uh, get all choked up here. <laughs> You know, check this out. This is like a big, uh, I mean, you know what this is, it's a metal pipe. No, you know, scientific meaning necessary. Sounds cool. Wow, that's a good one. No, stick, you're breaking. Hopefully I'm not waking up some creature in here. Yo, we made it. This is the most intense I've ever seen this. Man, it's so loud. Forgive the pure white noise sound. There's also this giant boulder up at the top that's like waiting to come crashing down. Luckily down here it's not too deep. You know, part of a little green, a little brown. Probably wouldn't dive into it just yet. Got to clear up a little bit. Time to head back home. All right. From the big boy stick. This actually kind of helped me traverse some of the uh, rapids earlier. But this is what I really wanted to record. Check this. Sorry, rock. Dude, I'm covered in like termite poop. Yo, that was the one with the reverb. Final one for the road. Cool, thank you, Stick. Damn, Barry Bonds that one. Yo, check out what I just found. Some wild oyster mushrooms. Took a little work to get them off the tree because I didn't bring anything to grab mushrooms while I was here, but hey, let's go make a risotto or something. <laughs>